guys i'm just very gently very gently just barely jigging this thing on the bottom leave some slack just let it sit on the bottom and they're hitting it when it's on the bottom i can feel them t -t 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 -t. feels like a pinfish all right it's been a long time since i had a hit trying a different color you know yellow and white with a pink teaser come on pompano the fish of 30,000 casts 200,000 casts today i cannot believe i've been jigging for hours and hours and hours and hours i only got one pump in the cooler oh there he is that's a pump that's a pump that's a good one too oh my god he's huge he's freaking huge he is huge oh yeah that's pump that's pump that's a pump just when i was complaining oh he's big guys i got me a drag screamer here buddy i got me a drag ripper oh my goodness this guy is giant oh my gosh wow what a freaking giant Whoo! yeah buddy we're taking this guy home with me I haven't ate one of these in about two years. They are really good though. Man, what a fish. Woo -hoo! That was a fun fight. Man, I thought I had a huge pompano. Doggone it. Gaff top sail catfish. Oh my gosh. Fried, dude, they are delicious. There we go, that's a pomp. That's a pomp. Come on, baby, be a pomp. Might be a big catfish again. It's acting like a big kitty. No, oh, it's acting like a huge kitty. It's all right. I'll take another catfish. Foul hook sail cat. Dang it. It's all right. He'll eat good. Point that rod tip straight down, and reel them up, swing them on the bridge. Hey, we got some more dinner, baby. More dinner. I was hoping I'd catch some sail cats today. These things are running right now all over the place. Everywhere I go, I catch them definitely gonna have to re-rig these things are so slimy i made a video one time called catching snot fish that's why nasty catfish slime all right so these things are easier to clean if you go ahead and just take a moment to wipe the slime off of them oh my gosh they are so slimy I made a video one time called catching snot fish they have so much slime on them it's like it's like snot it's just nasty so i like to go ahead and wipe them off let's get them cleaned up so guys listen hear that that's all bone up in there their bones run all the way like back up in here so i just come back right here this this fin i don't know what you call that one right there it's not the anal fin because the anal fin's back there but right here just kind of come in right behind there and about halfway through the dorsal fin right there just cut straight across like that and you'll miss the bone turn your knife just go ahead and fillet that right down tight to the bone you're going to get a good chunk of meat off of there nice chunk of meat I you know, left quite a bit there I didn't get the knife turned very well but that's that's all hard right there look at the size of the eggs these catfish have wow those are really big <laughs> that is so cool do the same thing here back like that come across that way turn the knife 
kind of tricky doing it with the camera right in your face. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. There we go. <laughs> it's so tricky with a camera and tripod in the way, but we're getting it. Not the first time we've done it. All right. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. We, we got down to the bone there. All right, and that's how we do that. Now these guys have got a lot of row inside of them. All right, and then we're just going to take the skin off. Keep the knife down tight against the skin. Usually get to a point where you can grab a hold of the skin Wiggle it back and forth as you push the knife. Come right off of there. And there's some good looking meat right there. Got a little bit of rib on there. Go ahead and get that off. All right. There's some good looking stuff right there. I wonder if we can take some of this blood off. Oh yeah. Again, it's just surface blood. Go ahead and cut that off of there. That'll keep it from tasting strong. It's always, for me, that's always the, the key to having good taste in fish is get all that nasty blood off of there. All right, that's looking pretty good. That's, isn't that pretty neat though? Beautiful pink meat. I did not film cleaning the second catfish, but look at how much cleaner the fillets are. What I did is I just held the knife up off of the skin about an eighth of an inch when I was taking the skin off. And uh, yeah, I wasted a little bit of meat, but look at how much cleaner that looks than that. And uh, I didn't have to clean any blood off of these fillets here. And this one looks a lot. Yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. Just hold that knife up off the skin a little bit, get a nice clean fillet. All right, let's cook them up. We got olive oil over medium high heat. I'm gonna cook these two different ways. I've already had fried gaff top sailfish. I'll put a link to that in this video. You guys can check that out. I did a taste test, sea robin whiting and gaff top sail cast. This video, guys, I'm gonna cook this with black and red fish magic, and I'm gonna cook this with uh, garlic butter and lemon and see how it turns out. I got a nice friendship gift from Amy. And uh, not this, but she gave me these spices, guys. And one of these is blackened redfish magic. So that's what we're going to be seasoning these fish with. But yeah, she ordered these, some kind of gourmet spices. And uh, yeah, she put them in little jars for me. Thanks, Amy. You're awesome. And I haven't tried this one yet. So we're going to get this fish coated real well with it. I did, I did give it a little taste with my finger. It doesn't taste like it has a lot of salt in it. So we should be good. Get these guys coated with a little black and red fish magic. I had to pour a little bit of that oil off of there. Let's see if it's... Oh yeah, that's good. I had, had a little bit too much in there. Give it a drop. Gonna be good. Okay. Cooking it up. All right, these have been on here for a couple of minutes. So, go ahead and give them a flip. Oh yeah, that's looking good. My stove is so unlevel. It's really bad. My whole kitchen is way out of level. It's really irritating to me being an ex-cabinet maker to have a kitchen that's like an inch at a level. See how the oil rolls over that way? Yeah. I leveled the range and the burners still tilted and yeah, that's looking good guys. Heck yeah, woohoo! Okay, it's been cooking for a couple minutes on the second side. I'm gonna finish off with a little bit more butter. Butter's melting, I'm just gonna take it. Soft this fillet up in there. Ooh, that's really blackened. Let's go ahead and get this guy off there. Roll this guy around in the butter a little bit. All right, let's 
It's looking good. All right, got our pan cleaned up good. A little olive oil in the pan. Turn it back up to medium high heat. And uh, we'll let that sit there until it starts smoking a little bit. The second batch we're gonna do with garlic butter and lemon, but I'm gonna do just a little bit of Cavenders on here. It'll give it a nice additional flavor. Absolutely love my Cavenders, guys. Heck yeah. All right, you guys can see there our oil is starting to smoke good, so let's do it. Give about two, two to three minutes on each side. Okay, that was seasoned side down. It's been about two minutes. Give them a flip. Looking good, looking good. All right, it's looking good. We're just going to take this, take this and just set it off to the side. Nice little chunk of butter. Give it a drop. And a little bit of olive oil in there so it doesn't burn. Next, I got some squeezed garlic. Nice little chunk of that in there. And now we're just going to mix that garlic in with the butter. Spoon it over there. Get that all over the fish. Let's get it plated. Actually, let's flip it over. Oh, that side looks better. That side looks better. There we go. That looks a lot better on that side. <laughs> we don't want all this goodness to go to waste. Let's pour that right over the top. Yeah. There we go. She's looking good, looking good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and top off the garlic with lemon okay I'm gonna try the garlic butter and lemon first get plenty of juice on there that looks really good not bad not nearly as good as fried and definitely not as good as pompano okay well let's try the redfish magic let's see how this one tastes Look at that meat is really nice and white, isn't it? Looks good. All right, let's give it a try. Of these two methods, surprisingly, the Redfish Magic tastes better than the garlic butter and lemon. Um, I absolutely love sheep's head and pompano and whiting. I like a lot of fish cooked in garlic butter and lemon, but the Gap Top Sail Catfish, definitely better Cajun style with the Redfish Magic. Um, this tastes okay. I wouldn't cook it that way again. I would cook it this way again and definitely fried. Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up are appreciated. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.